Hey guys, Nogrules here, and just coming at you with another pickups video. I got uh, a bunch of pretty neat stuff, so uh, let's dig right into it. I got uh, How to Win at Sony PlayStation Games, and it's just a bunch of cheat codes. I'm sure you guys have seen these books before, but they're pretty cool. So I picked that up at the thrift store. Um, I found these, which I thought was pretty cool. I'll just blast through these. But a whole bunch of paperwork for all different stuff. So we got the instruction booklet to Tetris, uh, the owner manual for a Game Boy. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure what game this one's to because it's missing it. Uh, let's see. I think it might be Final Fantasy, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, consumer Information and Precautions Booklet. Uh, Dr. Mario for the Game Boy. Uh, then for the Super Nintendo, it's Animaniacs. Uh, Super James Pond. Super Mario World. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars missing the cover. Uh, this one is for... Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, and the rechargeable battery pack AC adapter for the Game Boy, which I have one of those kicking around, so that was pretty cool. Then I also found these two Game Boy Advance games. I got Fire Emblem, uh, this one is The Sacred Stones, and Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. So those are sweet. Uh, then I picked up this at uh, Zeller's. It's Easy Piano. Now, the reason I picked this one up is because it comes with this really cool peripheral. And I was hoping that it would work for that um, Korg DS thing, but it doesn't, unfortunately. But it comes with this little piano add-on. I'll just show you how that looks. It looks pretty awesome on there, and, but unfortunately it does not work with the cord. Um, it just works with this game, but I mean it was only like 10 bucks, but it is pretty cool though, and the game's not bad. It kind of teaches you how to read music and stuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. My wife found me this little boo toy, and it uh, doesn't really do anything, but he's awesome nonetheless. And then I got... This game here, Mad World on the Wii, only paid a couple bucks for it, but it's in mint condition. And I heard it was a good game, so that's why I picked it up. Looks pretty neat. And then I picked up a whole bunch of Super Nintendo games. So check this out. Uh, there's a couple good ones in here. We got Alien 3. We got Toy Story with the label a little bit ripped. ML. PA Baseball, Nigel Manson's World Championship, uh, this one looks pretty cool, uh, Super Ninja Boy, we got Sim Ant, and then uh, I thought it was pretty funny that I found this one, it's Doom, because uh, I just did the guitar cover for the first level for Doom, so that's cool, I like how the cards are red too, we got Batman Returns, and the only bad thing is the back is kind of crushed in. But that's okay, I'll swap it out with a sports title or something. We got Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. And Animaniacs, which is awesome because I just got the manual for it too. So those two will go together. And what else did I get here? Uh, I got a couple things, uh, a couple music pickups here. Uh, nothing too exciting. I got an adapter for my Boss Digital Delay Pedal. So, super happy to get that. Now I'm not blasting through batteries. And the last one I'll show you here, we'll just pick you guys up, is I got uh, this dynamic microphone here, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I also got this stand that holds up to three microphones on a single stand so I was pretty excited to get that because now I don't have to always switch my cradles because this is the mic I use for recording 
and it's a condenser mic so it uh, has to use a shock mount to hold it where a regular microphone just uses a regular clip and it's kind of a pain in the ass switching them back and forth on the same stand all the time so now I have one that holds both so anyways that is my pickups video hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later